Well, the time has come to send our swinger down the road. And a couple of videos ago, I gave you guys a walk around of the car and I pointed out all of its bad points. None of its good points, just its bad points. Because, you know, I don't like selling things. I would rather just, I would rather just leave it in the woods someplace. To me, it's worth zero. To Kathy Bananas, she's convinced Jay Leno wants his car in a worse way and he's willing to pay. <laughs> no. I said, no, that's not the way it is. Since we have such a huge discrepancy in our, what we determine the value of this car is, let's leave it up to the viewers. So we did. And last night, I went through, <laughs> went through 1,300 comments. We went through them? What's that? We went through them? 1,300 of them. And I'll get, I'll get to this in a second. So what I did was I laid it out to you guys. I says, tell me in the comments what you think this thing is worth. So I says, we we're going to throw out anything under 1,000 or over 10,000 and, and give us that range between 1 and 10. Of course, you know, there's always a good percentage of, of the viewers of these things that really don't pay attention. So we had a lot of people that were, it's worth a dollar twelve. You know? <laughs> so, so, give me 50 bucks and I'll tow it out of your driveway, right? And then you got these other people. They're clearly going for 70 or $80,000. That car is worth every bit of it. Uh, so, yeah, there was plenty of those, but we kept it in the range between 1,000 and 10,000. And I have the results right here. Now, like I says, I hate selling cars. We just got rid of that duster. We had the duster that was in the backyard for four years, right? And when I listed it, I listed it as a non-running car because I didn't want to sell it as a car. See, here's the problem. When you do what I do, right, you literally, in, in the buyer's mind, you have given birth to this car. So anything that goes wrong with it down the road, you know, like the water pump takes a dump six months down the road. Hey, put a cheap water pump on there and now it's dead. I got robbed. So I would just as soon sell it as a pile of parts. You know, here, this is what the parts are worth, right? Give me that much and whether it runs or not. I sold that car as non-running, but we, we started it up and drove it out and drove it up on the trailer. But I sold it as a non-running car. This one over here obviously runs, but I'm selling it in my mind as the sum value of its parts. What are the sum values of its parts? Okay, I was in this business for a long time, right? And I, 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 I specialized in anybody Mopar stuff. So I know confidently I could break this thing down, even in its current condition, I could break this down, thing down and get way over $10,000 in parts. Because remember something, every window regulator is worth something. You know, every, every section of firewall is worth something. But I'm out of that business. I don't do that anymore. And to me, to break this car down and start advertising, and all, it's just not worth it. So that's why when I gave the tour of the car, I only showed the bad parts. You know it starts, you know it runs, you know it drives, you know it stops. But I'm not selling it on any of those merits. It's just here. It's a pile of parts. Make something of this car. So I went through <laughs> almost 1,300 comments last night. And I picked out all of the numbers above 1,000 and below 10,000. So this is, and I tally, I'm, I'm sure you guys can think of a thousand better ways to tally this up. But these are all, yeah, I know, it took me hours, okay? So these are all of the numbers. This is the total at the bottom of the page. All right, well, don't show that yet. So, you want to guess what it was? Yeah, throw your guesses in there. Okay, you done? All right. This is funny because I said between 1,000 and 10,000, 5,000 would be the middle, right? 4,600, actually it came to $4,639. We're gonna round it off to 4,600 and that's what we're gonna sell the car for. Now, I noticed in the comments, <laughs> Uncle Kathy's shaking her head no. What? That's not bad. Let's just get rid of this thing and move on. All right. Um, a lot of people in the comments were, I'll just come and take it right now, right? Or I'll send the truck for it, ship it wherever. We're not going to do it that way. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put this thing on Facebook Marketplace. Now, Kathy just went today and got a replacement title because we couldn't find a title. So we'll have a title in our hands next week. As soon as we get the title in our hands, then we'll list it on Marketplace. 
We're going to list it for the 4600 bucks. <laughs> She's like, no. She's mad, guys. She's pissed off. I don't care. I'm happy. I'm just, I just want it gone, right? So here's the thing with this. It's going to be listed local Nashville Facebook marketplace. It's going to be first come, first serve from marketplace. If you cannot literally, physically, yourself, come here to either the house or the shop and inspect the car yourself, no. Just, I'm not selling it to you. If you're going to send somebody, no, I'm not selling it to you. You have to be able to physically come here and look the car over yourself and then hand me cash, green, you know, dead presidents and, and other public officials. And that's the only way we're going to sell this car. I'm not holding it for anybody. I'm not shipping it anywhere. We're not doing anything like that. It's going to be a local sale. And if you're in this area and can get here before the next guy does, look the car over and bring cash then you may end up with this car. If not, don't even, don't waste your time, don't waste my time. I don't look at emails. I don't even know what the password to the email account is. Do we even have a password for the email? Yeah, I look at the email. Right, she looks at the emails and, and she knows not to show them to me. So, right off the bat, just, okay, it's gonna go on Marketplace and we're gonna sell first come, first serve to people who can come here physically themselves and look the car over and give me cash. Do I have to say that one more time? I don't think so. You think I got the point across there? Yeah, you did. All right. So that's it, guys. If you're interested in the car, give it about a week. I'm not going to actually, I'm going to put it up until I have the title in my hand. We lost a title somewhere over the last 10 years. And no, I'm not taking a beating on this car at all. We put this thing together the first time. We had about 1200 bucks in it. Drove it for five years, put another like seven or 800 bucks into it. It's so like, I think I'm into this for $2,000 total. It's had two paint jobs. Yeah, but the, the paint was 150 bucks a gallon. It's had numerous motors. Yeah, but I, I sold parts off the old motors as they went through. So it's like I made a profit off of it. Like the, to put a new alternator on here was a big investment to me. All I know is I had to put the headliner in in 90 degree weather. I so know, I know. That's worth what? That's what is the, that worth? It's worth nothing. It's nothing. in the past. It's, it's in nothing. the past. <laughs> All right, so that's it, guys. That's the story with the car. All right. 4600 bucks. Facebook Marketplace if you're interested, but don't bother if you can be here the day that it lists and, and actually inspect the car with your own voice. I will. I'm going to have the title next week. I yeah, I'll, I'll let you know on one of the lives, either the Wednesday Night Live or the Sunday Night Live, mm -hmm. that we have the title, and then okay. you know, we'll go from there. Okay. All right, that's it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, see you tomorrow. Good girl.